The Duchess has a keen interest in growing good vegetables. But as we headed towards the Longmeadow Vegetable Garden, someone couldn't resist stealing the show. Come here. What is it? You've been naughty. What? Where's your bully? What have you done with your bully? <laughs> I can see she's uh, rather keen on the cameras. Maybe. <laughs> now she's walked okay. on pace. Come here. What is it? Come here. Oh. Mel, what is it? Oh. Oh. Come on. Uh. Come on. She's got a few <laughs> words to <laughs> say. <laughs> the Duchess shared her thoughts on how important gardens and gardening can be for our well-being. I think gardens got people through. COVID, they realised how, how special a garden was and what they could do with it. They could become inventive. Even if they hadn't before, they could start growing vegetables. Mm. It was a sort of spiritual experience for them. They, they discovered a, a sort of affinity with the soil. Didn't mm. they? You can go into a garden, you can completely lose yourself. Mm. You don't have to think about anything else. You're surrounded by nature. Mm. You know you've got birds singing, you've got bees buzzing about, you know, something. Very healing yeah. gardens. Is there anything that you plan to do in gardening that you haven't done and yet you would, you would like to do? I've got a little bit of a, a woodland garden mm. that I have started and I would love to build that up more and I, I'd love to put down swathes of bulbs and I'd also like to have a proper wildflower meadow. At the moment I've, I've, I've got a bit but the grass has sort of taken over mm. and um, we're going to have another go this year of planting more seeds because I think, especially now, it's ever more important to have these wildflowers. Mm. I mean, if we're going to keep on attracting, you know, butterflies and bees, I think that's very important. So we grow everything in raised beds here. And it seems that the Duchess faces the, exactly the same challenges that all gardeners do. I'm very lucky, I've got a big vegetable garden, but you get the mice, the voles this year, yeah. all at the asparagus roots, and then they got mm -hmm. into the strawberries, so you can never win, there's always no. something. I think you just have to accept that there are some things that are just not going to go for you this year, you know, whatever it might be.